So let's start the SBR exam success rule. The prime rule for the SBR exam success is that the student must have a great plan of attack. Must have a great plan of attack before execution of the exam paper. You must have a great plan of attack. And whatever I will advise with respect of this rule, what you should do, you must have to apply these rules with all the SBR pass exam papers. And you will feel the difference. May Allah willing, you will feel the difference. Now come on, sir, what includes the plan of attack? That's how we will plan our questions, our exams. Now come on. SBR exam success rule, that means plan of attack, includes two parts, two things. Number one, you need to plan with respect to the time. That's called time management. And number two, you need a good plan about the marks. That's called marks management. So time management, marks management, that's two things you need to make a plan for this before starting the question. For time management, the rule is 2080. For marks management, the rule is mind mapping. So we will cover, we will discuss the things with these two points, rule one, rule two. Come on, rule one. Rule one, invest your exam time, your exam time, three hours, your exam time, 180 minutes with the rule 2080. The examining team recommendation is that first of all, the student must have to plan the answer and reasonably in this time ideally 20%. So 20% planning time includes, planning time includes your mind, your brain works for 20%. Number one, reading. You know, reading is an art. And how to learn that reading is an art, we will cover the thing. Number two, understanding. Read the question, understanding the requirement very carefully. Understanding the requirement, what examiner expect from you. And compose your mind, compose. Your mind must be very much focused, not scattered. Read, understand, compose your mind. First, you must show that I have invested reasonable time, that's 20% and read the question carefully, understand the requirement according to the examiner expectation, compose the mind, then invest, start investment time for drafting and assembling your answer, ideally the 80%. The students, I strongly suggest whatever advice I'm providing here, you have to invest your time, you have to invest uh, your time with your practice questions of the SBR from September 18 onwards. You will feel the difference with respect to the performance of SBR. That is rule number one. But for this rule number one, before moving towards the execution, be careful, you have invested carefully 20% for the 80% execution. And finally, be careful, be careful. You have read and understand the requirement according to the examiner expectation. So read and understand the requirement very carefully, very carefully. Okay, the next rule. Marks management, the next rule, marks management. The rule number two, mind mapping. Mind mapping. 
means before starting the question you have to jot down or plan your key points in this manner focus this picture what this lady is doing that's developing the mindset mind mapping plan your key points arrange the points compose your mind that's very much important so first whatever you have read the requirement and understanding the requirement and the question you have to develop some key points in your mind before starting the questions whenever you are developing your mindset that's called mind mapping that's rule 2 the support you required here that's called drafting rules drafting rules sir what is the meaning of this drafting rules drafting rules with sbr exams the pass based on pass paper analysis examiner normally ask two type of drafting things number 1 drafting technique number 1 the first thing if examiner asking about if the question about knowledge application knowledge obligation application so here you just recall the sbr syllabus content there are five syllabus content of sbr all accounting standards ias ifrs including group accounts number 2 ethics number 3 current developments number 4 conceptual framework number 5 performance measurement so five areas of syllabus syllabus five areas so examiner asking any syllabus area for example accounting standard let's say is 36 the case about is 36 knowledge and application impairment aspects all these things if the question about knowledge and application the rule is k plus a k plus a k a that's number 1 let's suppose i is 36 you just start writing about your knowledge or concept for example i is 36 if exam is asking about ethics just start writing about ethics or any other area of syllabus number 2 first initially you refer the knowledge number 2 apply the knowledge means apply that knowledge with respect to the case study refer the name of the case and apply your knowledge connect the case connect knowledge with the case so this is k plus a but very important point here whenever you are writing the knowledge writing the knowledge two things bear in your mind you can use your own wordings it's not necessary necessary it's not compulsory that you have to write exactly the accounting standard wordings for example if you are if you are drafting is 36 impairment aspects you can use own words not necessarily exactly use the accounting standard words same thing apply for other areas of the syllabus as well number 2 if the question about accounting standard for example is 36 name is is 36 impairment of asset so for writing you just mention the name is 36 if you are performing for ifrs 9 just mention ifrs 9 don't mention the complete name financial instrument and all these things just mention the number even if you are not recalling exactly the number you just mention according to the accounting standard so first the knowledge and then second point application for application i strongly suggest for application 
just get rid this fear if you am going to apply or connect with the case something become wrong no worries just apply just connect with the case and do practice as much as possible and with the examination at the point of application you you must be fearless just get rid from the fear and do your best with the application examiner never expecting the accuracy of the application just your just <clears throat> what examiner just wanted to check that you have an ability to apply the concept or not it's nothing about right or wrong that's the first point that's drafting technique one drafting technique two if question about working explanation for example examiner is saying that uh, calculate the impairment loss and explain so this is something about working and explanation of the working that's a second type of question examiner examiner based on past paper analysis the rule is explain the facts whatever you have calculated with impairment another example whatever you have calculated with goodwill just make interpretation simple interpretation of the facts whatever you have done with the calculation just interpret so this is the second rule so combine all these things SBR exam rules. Rule number one, 2080 time management. 20% you have to invest for the <clears throat> for the planning. For the call for the planning to develop quality answer. Rule number two. That's 2080. Yeah? Rule number two. Sorry. Rule number one, 2080. And be careful. Planning includes reading, understanding and composing and make sure you have understand all components of the requirements rule number two marks management that's called mind mapping recall the picture of the lady that's some imagination in your mind here mind mapping drafting technique one t1 technique one k plus a knowledge plus application Drafting technique two, interpret the facts if the examiner asking working explanation. That's SBR exam rule. Now apply all these rules with an example. Let's take one example. It's not any specific to the uh, case study. It's, it's a basic example. For example, uh, you are attempting somewhere seven marks question and there are two requirements with the seven marks number one read it carefully why investment in H company for example uh, ABC company is the case study ABC company so with respect to ABC company here the question is that why investment in H company should be classified as an associate four marks number two explain how each company should be accounted for as an associate using the equity method in consolidated statement of financial position three marks so this is what a basic example let's apply all the rules rule number one 2018 time management 2018 first so I must be very much careful for this complete seven marks question. I have total 100 marks to attend the question. Total time 180 minutes. So 1.8 minutes per mark. 1.8 minutes per mark for each mark. For this seven marks question, 7 marks multiply by 1.8 
minutes for each mark i have 13 minutes so i will invest 20 percent time that three minutes for reading understanding and composing my mind number three 80 percent time for that's 10 minutes for drafting and assembling the answer so that is the first rule that's the first rule and i must be very much committed that i have to perform these things within 13 minutes number two that's a time management that's done huh? another point mind mapping rule number two mind mapping the first question why investment in its company should be classified as an associate first of all be careful after reading the question reading the question the requirement ask yourself is my understanding very much clear according to the examiner expectation the examiner expectation that here examiner expecting that i have to write something about associate what when any investment treat as associate so i have to up uh, i have to show some i have to drop some uh, knowledge here about associate whatever accounting standard says with is 28 that's knowledge and also need to apply with the case that uh, the accounting standard investment associates associates criteria meets or not so that's the question about knowledge and application knowledge and application so that's what understanding of the requirement very clear and develop your mind here knowledge application develop your mind what to do how to develop your mind i will jot down the points i will jot down the points first i will make a basic draft about the knowledge that make a reference of is 28 as i that's significant influence with my own wording i will mention that if this investment and in equity if investment in equity in each company and the investor become able to participate for the operating and financing decisions that reflect the significant influence and we can treat or we can account for the investment in its company as investment in associate with my own wordings ideally mention is 28 investment and associate and joint venture you don't need to mention the complete name you just refer is 28 even not recalling the name is 28 just mention according to the accounting standard with and drafting with your own wordings about the knowledge then that's the point first extract ifrs or ias that's associate own wordings in case of ias or ifrs just mention is 28 number two application connect the knowledge with the case that's called application of is 28 and conclude that is this investment is this the inv <clears throat> is this a case that account uh, that the company should account for as associate yes or no so that is what the drafting rule one next point next point the drafting technique two the another three marks question explain how it's company should account it for associate using equity method in consolidated statement of financial position here examiner expect that you have to calculate the 
equity accounting and its calculation it's not the requirement here the requirement is to explain the facts explain the facts so here equity accounting equity accounting means first you take the investment associate value at the date of investment plus post acquisition share of uh, post acquisition share of movement in net assets including profit and oci of associate and make other adjustment like impairment and the other intra uh, intra investment or intra good transactions so this is what about the format normally you do okay so that's about the calculation that's you normally do with the f7 exam that's already done but here examiner expect not just to calculate but also explain also explain so here the rule is explain the facts explanation of your working that's called explain the equity accounting working instead only show the calculations not only to show the calculations but you have to explain that's the examiner expectation so you have to jot down the point that yes whenever i will draft the question i have to explain my working not only show the calculation that's simply interpretation of the equity accounting facts so that is the application with an example about the rule number one 2080 rule number two mind mapping so exam success rule final slide rule number one time management 2080 and be careful 20 percent you need to invest for reading understanding composing and make sure you have understand all components of requirements rule number two marks management mind mapping applied drafting technique one k plus a drafting technique two interpret the facts that's working explanation my last words apply all these rules with the practice questions of sbr pass exams and you will feel the difference and also apply with the mock exams if you do if you if you do your practice in this pathway you will be able to get success of sbr exam i can assure you as a human being i cannot guarantee you may allah may god definitely provide you success but i can assure you based on my past experience that if you do that you will be able to you will not just able to get 50 but even to get distinctions thank you very much take care a lot and wait for the another video assalamu alaikum